Now I built a, uh, a writing desk for my bedroom, I think it was almost a year and a half ago, and this dresser is actually going to be matching that. So it's going to have the same joinery, the same raised panel look, and then I'm going to be staining it the same exact color, and it's going to be super cool. So that is what we are working on. I just wanted to jump on here really quick. Uh, you already saw me mill all the parts down, and that was super cool though because I got to use all of my fancy new equipment and it made life a whole lot easier in this. So the next thing we're going to be doing here is doing the mortise and tenons on the cross members and start actually constructing the, the shell of the dresser itself. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning into this project and let's keep going.
these, I actually put a shoulder on the table saw. Instead of going directly to the end like this with a point at the end here, instead what I did was I had that same angle, but then I cut a little bit of a shoulder right here and that fit a lot better into the rabbit. Once it's all glued up, it should look a little bit cleaner and allow for the panel to expand and contract a little bit better. Now with this, I did have to go and do it with the hand planes. So each of these angles are slightly different, but that doesn't really matter because as long as it looks the same, that is really all I care about. And when the joints come together nice and tight, I mean, I can't really ask for anything more than that with this. So the next thing that we're going to be doing here is adding a taper to the ends of the legs and also a bevel to this cross member on the bottom. And what this should hopefully do is make it look, look a little bit less chunky. So my intention with the back panel was to have two pieces that go on the edges right there and right there, but the majority of it was going to be a panel that was resawed, but I don't have enough pieces to make up that length. So instead what I'm going to do is take a bunch of the offcuts that are shorter and just have another cross member here and have two smaller panels. I do have to cut that piece. I need to mill this down to three quarters of an inch and then we'll go from there. So I've been sitting here for maybe 20 minutes or so drawing out all of the exact dimensions I'm going to be needing for the drawers. Now I have all of the parts rough cut and this is the first time I'm actually using these uh, Blum Motion drawer slides. I've never used these before and the, the drawings online 
had extremely accurate measurements, so I then had to transfer those to my specific project. So with this drawing, I essentially have a front profile view looking head-on at the drawer, and this is the kind of sketch of the slide that I have, and then I had the reveal as well as the heights, uh, the lengths, everything I need to make all of the cuts. And then also down here, I just had a couple measurements that I'm gonna need for the depth of the drawer, and that will then dictate what those side pieces are. So with this drawing, I should hopefully have all of the necessary measurements in order to construct the drawer and then actually put it in there. Hopefully this should go well. I have all the parts over there sitting and I'm gonna be getting ready to cut those up. So the next order of business here is going to be taking care of all of the dovetails for the drawers. Now there's a total of five drawers, so there's a total of 20 dovetails that I have to do, but I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be a marathon and it's definitely going to be improving my dovetail uh, skills as well. So there's nothing too important that I need to be sharing with you guys about the dovetails specifically, but I'm just gonna go ahead and film it and keep the project going. In this part of the build, just these dovetails, cutting them by hand, took just over four days. And it's safe to say I was pretty good by the time I got down to the last couple of them, and I was a lot quicker as well. I think the first one that I did on the very first drawer took well over an hour, and the very last one that I did, not only was it a lot better, but it took half the time. It was like under a half hour. Now, there's one comparison I'd like to share with you, and that is from my very first one, and number 20 right here. This was the A of the first one and the D of the very last drawer. With this angle right here, you can definitely see the difference within the pins. And also keep in mind that these aren't even glued up yet. When they're glued up, they'll probably even look a little bit better for both of them. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I mean, this was a lot of dovetails that I did. And by the time I got to the end, I was doing them in half the time. They were looking twice as good. And I was honestly having a good time. So, and this is a pretty decent pile. And all these were cut out with a $10 coping saw. Keep that in mind. You don't need expensive tools to do this. Now, the next order of business here is going to be putting the drawer bottoms in because these drawers will be pretty useless without them. So the best way I can think of doing this is going to be with the router. I still don't have a router cable, believe it or not. And this is a spiral up cut bit and it's a half of an inch. And the drawer bottoms are a half an inch. So this should work perfectly to cut the grooves in the drawers.